Streets Arts, and I'm a sophomore at SCAT. I like your words! <laughs> and my poem is called The Barely Angel. The barely teenager was worldly immortalized, expected to live past her parents and at least forever. Instead, she chose the quarter life and now lives in my quarter memories. With my feet pointing skyward and a handstand made possible by a younger center of gravity propped up against our tea light terrace, she asked me, don't you wish you could stay here forever? But for all of the stars, I could not nod, yes. When single digits turned to double, we returned to our flimsy playground to find that not one, but two elements had changed. She and I. Don't you wish you could leave here forever? But for fear of the dark, I could not share my reasons to stay. She couldn't allow her chapped lips to rest against each other or risk hitting a brick silence, and even her smile looked strained, ready to snap off with the rest of her. Teeth bombarding a pile of spindly limbs, each tooth still fighting to carve one last screw in her anchored tongue, run comfort with a scale scream numbers through her feet and her heart pleaded with her to show emotion, like the summer child who directs the hose stream of water in the <coughs> beehive to prove the colony dwelled there, accepting the high risk of getting stung. Riveted by our own stinging wounds, we allowed the barely teenager to slither past each poem of family with the desperate cracks in her mirror. She now rests with a circus of bottles, finding one to bring her home. I wasn't in that white coat wrench room, but I bit my nails and weighed outside while freshly sterilized knives and pins drip leftover good intentions onto the sputtering coals of her asphyxiated adolescent personality. How old does she have to be before a chalky click of pills can choke the space behind her top? On a day when tears were wet from the sky, only a few shuffling people shook the descent from their shoulders onto the barely teenager in the box that had been labeled child size, in the store where no one smiled. The relative's opinions were sufficiently shown, though she wrung that by leaving so soon. I tried to imagine her soul soaring to whatever heaven she chose, because children are good at getting what they want. Yet a tear still forged its path down my cheek and swirled into her tear duct when I bent to kiss her hand. Baby sister, you look beautiful. Because in the end, a barely teenager had become a barely angel. Beautiful, that's all she'll ever be. Thank you.